that I'm all over. Um, I think mostly because they look a lot like Air Mocks um, or Nike Mocks, I'm sure most of you won't like, but this is a new collaboration with the one and only Cactus Plant Flea Market and Nike on this new shoe called the Air Flea 2. The funny thing about Cactus Plant Flea Market, um, from what I've been reading online and the word around the grapevine, the people involved with Cactus Plant Flea Market, whether it's the founder, I forgot her name, the woman, or whether it's the team that works with her, I've read or seen online or heard that they have now replaced Tremaine at Supreme. They might have been working there before. There may have been people Tremaine brought in. I'm not too sure. But I've now heard that those people are now have basically taken over the creative direction role um, on a somewhat, you know, temporary basis while the investigation continues and shit. That's what I've heard. So a lot of people that didn't like Tremaine's designs or didn't like the denim tier stuff, you're going to be in for a shock because a lot of the stuff you don't like that Dan Tears does, Cactus Plant, Fl Cactus Plant Flea Market does, a, a, I think, a similar sort of thing, similar aesthetic. Yes, it's another sort of voice. It comes from another perspective and it's not like a big fancy head person behind it, but it's kind of the same. It's for me. So, you know, if you're crying about Tremaine, I want to see real tears from you motherfuckers when you hear that fucking this lady is designing for Supreme also. But I love this shoe because they remind me of the mocks and because they're utterly ugly. Um, the Cactus Plant Flea Market and Nike Air Flea 2 uh, were releasing in two colorways in holiday, retailing at $220. So we already know the release date and there's going to be another colorway coming. Maybe it's the one that we saw... No, actually, the same color we saw the band guy wearing, right? It was these as well. But I love the look of them. I love the fact that the laces are removable. It was these buttons everywhere. You can put different badges on them and shit. I like them. They really, really do flip and look good. And you've got more pictures here. Somebody actually got them in hand, as you can see. Um, they do their best to hide their finger and shit. They don't want to be identified. But yeah, you can see they've got them in hand. And they look absolutely banging. I can't wait to eventually get mine when they come out because I've got a feeling because everyone hates what they look like and they look so marmite. No one's going to buy them, which is big cat because, you know, resellers and sneakers are just fucking sheep. So as soon as you see someone else wearing it and it looks good, they're going to buy it also. So it kind of is what it is. But I am happy that these are coming out regardless because, like I said, I'm a big fan of the Nike Air Mock. And I think that sole of these particular shoes looks a lot like a Nike Mock. And if you don't know what Nike Mock is, I'm going to get it up for you. It's this. It's a Nike Mock. It's an ACG shoe that I think was designed, in, that was inspired by a potato or something. The idea was like, oh, how, do, how would I make a potato into a shoe? And then the person decided, hey, here's how you do it. You know what I mean? Here's how. And this is what we end up getting. These Nike Mock things I absolutely love and adore. I used to think I was so cool and those things until somebody told me I wasn't. Then I started to feel super conscious, so super self-conscious. So it kind of is what it is. It kind of is what it is. Uh, 